Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Natalia and in today's video we are going to be doing five tips on how to improve your resume. Now this can be applied to any resume. It doesn't have to be for marketing. I am in the marketing field slash communication field, but this is just a simple how to improve your resume video. So it's not very specific to marketing, but it definitely can be used for a marketing resume. Quick note, I am gonna be starting a new series on my channel. I wouldn't really call it a series, but more like a fun day. I normally post every Mondays, but now I'm gonna be dedicating my Mondays specifically specifically towards marketing because I know how much you guys love my marketing videos. I have done a five things I wish I knew before starting my marketing career video. I've done a lot of day in the life of a marketing associate videos and those videos just do so well because you guys really love them and engage with them. So I've decided that my Mondays are going to be specifically dedicated towards marketing videos. And then I am going to also be posting another time per week and I'm going to be doing sort of like a lifestyle video or something a little bit more general, not specified towards marketing because I still do really enjoy doing those sorts of videos, especially now that we've gotten into the month of December and there were so many fun Christmas activities to do that I've just decided that I want to do both. So I want the best of both worlds. So marketing Mondays will be for Mondays and then I'll have my miscellaneous videos which will go live either on Thursdays or Fridays. So if you guys want to get notified for those, don't forget to turn on the notification bell and make sure that you are subscribed. So uh, let's jump into this video and like I said, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please feel free to subscribe down below. I have so much interesting content coming your way that I can't wait to share with you guys so you guys don't want to miss that. And also if you guys have any questions or comments that you guys just didn't get answered in this video and you guys want to learn more, feel free to comment down below. I do respond to all my comments. I will respond to your comment or question so feel free to comment down below and I will definitely get to it. So let's jump into this video because I do have a lot of fun tips on how to improve your resume. My first tip would be to use what you have and use it to your fullest extent. But what does that mean exactly? Well, that means if you have an internship, if you studied abroad, anything that looks good on a resume, make sure to have it on there, especially if it has anything to do with your career or your field. So let's say an internship. Yes, you did not get paid and you just had to have it as a requirement for school, but that's also such an advantage because for example, I was a social media intern for a nonprofit company. When I was in the interview process for the job that I have currently, I knew that what I did in that job wasn't anything comparable to what I was going to be doing in the career job, but I still put it on there and I still listed things and geared it towards what the job requirement was asking. So if anything seemed like it would be able to help me or if I improved any engagements, if I made any sort of good impact in the internship that I had made, I made sure to put that on my resume so that it at least showed that I was hardworking and fast learner. So that is super big and that is such a big piece of advice because I feel like that's sort of like um, a situation where people feel trapped when they're looking for jobs. When you just graduated college and they're asking for three years of experience, you may not have three years of experience in a career, but maybe you did an internship, maybe you volunteered for a nonprofit. You know, anything of that sort, make sure to put it on your resume and gear it towards what the job description is asking for. For my second tip, make sure that the bullet points or phrases that you are using to describe your job descriptions in your previous jobs are as specific and intentional as possible. You do not want to put something in your resume under one of your previous job descriptions saying, you managed an office and leave it at that. If you managed an office, you need to optimize the heck out of that statement. You need to give as much detail on what you did, who you managed, what systems you worked with, you know, who your clients were. You need to give as much specific detail as you can. But at the same time, you do not want to create a giant essay out of your resume. 
Personally, I like to keep my resume at a page. I know some people like to keep it at two, especially if you have enough experience to keep it at two. But I would say anything more than that is completely unnecessary because you only want to be putting jobs on there that are relevant to the position that you're applying for. With that being said, you want to be intentional with what you are writing but be specific at the same time. Because you also want the employers to be intrigued by what you do. That's where a person will go in and ask you to come in for an interview. And then you can better describe yourself and better explain yourself when you're talking face to face and you have that opportunity. But you also don't want to miss that opportunity by being very vague and not getting that much information or else they're just gonna, you know, move past your resume when you could have been a perfect candidate. My third piece of advice is to always, always, always write a cover letter. I know this seems like a lot of work, especially if you're trying to apply during these times and you're just trying to apply to as many jobs as possible. But for the jobs that you truly do see potential and you do see that all the requirements are lining up and that you are a perfect candidate for the job, I highly recommend to write a cover letter because you want to show that company what a perfect fit you would be and that you would be a great asset to the company. That is your chance to hype up yourself and just, you know, show them that you can be a great asset and that you would be so grateful to work at their company. And I guarantee you that that will make them stop and look at your resume and you will have a much higher chance of landing a job if you do that. And I understand it can be a lot of work, but it's definitely worth the reward. My fourth tip is to make your resume pop. And at first, when I first was going into my career, I didn't even think about making my resume pop. I know in one of my classes, I had to make a creative resume where I used colors and graphics and stuff, but I always thought that was like for a creative field. like. If I was gonna be a graphic designer or an architect or an artist that I had to have a creative resume. But I never thought that as a marketing associate or marketing specialist, that would be something of value for me. If you think about it, if everyone is thinking that way and yours is the only one that has some color and it has a picture of yourself in the resume, then you are gonna be the one who pops out and stands out. So you wanna make sure that you utilize colors graphics, pictures of yourselves, especially if you're applying in a different state and you wanna make yourself known and what you look like, you just kinda of wanna give them a sort of visual to put the face to the paper, then incorporating a picture of yourself on your resume can be very helpful. And also you wanna keep in mind, even though you wanna give yourself some creative freedom, it still has to look very professional. You wanna keep color schemes very similar. You don't want crazy colors everywhere. You don't wanna distract the person when they're reading either. You still wanna make it legible. You still wanna make it professional, but you just want something that'll grab their attention and it's not just gonna be another resume in the pile. So I definitely recommend doing that. Even something as simple as fonts can upgrade your resume. I know that I recently redid mine just to sort of give it a little facelift and even with the aesthetic changes that I made, it looks like a completely different resume. Could not be happier with the outcome. So I will show the before and after. This is the before, this is the after. You could see in the before that it was just very simple. To me, it looks like a Word doc, even though it wasn't done on Word doc. There's nothing that really catches your eye. I would say that the layout isn't practical and it isn't very easy to read. You know, you kind of have to go searching for certain things like the scales at the bottom, where in my new one, everything is very easy to find. Everything's broken up very nicely and I have that nice green color to make my name pop. So even simple changes like that, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, but adding just smallest bit of color can really level up your resume. My fifth piece of advice that I'm giving is that I would say always have someone proofread and have a second look at your resume. You know, whether it be a coworker, a professor, um, you know, someone of that sort that can just kind of look at it from a different perspective 
and give you feedback, whether it's the copy, whether it's the color schemes and the font, you know, sometimes you're staring at it for so long, it doesn't, you don't even know what to do with it anymore. So you have to bring it to a pair of fresh eyes and maybe someone who is in a position that has hired someone before so you can get their advice on what to look for. That is something that I've always done. I either went to my dad or I asked one of my teachers to look it over and just kind of give me their feedback and that was always so helpful. Another big thing that sort of ties along with this tip is to check for grammar errors. I know that sounds so silly, but something as simple as grammar errors, people will not even think twice about your resume because if you can't even get your resume grammatically correct, then it's showing that you just don't really care. Always proofread your resumes, use Grammarly if you have to, and keep things consistent. If you're gonna be using periods at the end of each bullet point, then don't do every other, or don't do certain phrases have periods, other phrases don't, because that's just not gonna look good and it's just not gonna be consistent. You wanna keep it as consistent and keep the same sort of formatting all the way through the document and that will just definitely help it look much more professional and people won't be distracted by a runoff sentence you know they'll really be able to focus on what you're trying to convey to them so that's super helpful and that's just something that when people come to me and ask me to proofread their, their resume that's honestly one of the biggest things that i look for is whether there's any grammatical issues and if the things read correctly. So reading it out loud also helps because then you see if something makes sense. So if commas are missing, if you're adding too many commas, that always helps to read things out loud too. And last note, something that I forgot to mention when making your resume pop is to use certain templates. There are so many good templates. The biggest website that I use for resume building and things like that is Canva. Canva has hundreds and hundreds of resume templates. That's what I use to upgrade my resume and you can customize them to whatever you like. So you can start off with a certain template and then customize it towards your liking. All right guys, so that is my tips for improving your resume. I really hope you guys learned something from this video. And like I said, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, please let me know in the comments down below. I am always happy to respond to any of your questions and comments. I really hope this helps you land that job, but I wish you guys the best of luck on your job hunting journey. And I will see you guys next Monday. Bye guys.